The Royals are on a roll at the moment. They've won seven in a row. They are 33-19, and and the Rays are going the other direction at the moment. They have lost five in a row, but they're still just two games under 500 at 25 and 27. It's Rays right-hander Aaron Savali, who is 4-0 with a 1.93 ERA in his last six starts against the Royals. That's dating back to the start of the 2022 season. Michael Garcia will lead it off, the third baseman. Starting the day at 266. In the first pitch, a chopper. The Caballero at short. And across the diamond, Jonathan Aranda on the receiving end. Bobby was one for five last night with a home run to straightaway center field. Fly ball to center. Jose Siri will go back and make that catch. Three pitches in and two quick outs. Vinny Pasquantino steps to the plate now. There's a breaking ball and it's a called strike three over the outside corner and Pasquantino is out and that's about as good a first inning as you're going to get a seven pitch inning for Aaron Savali to start the day. The Royals went down in order in the top of the first and now the Rays bat for the first time. Richie Palacios a left handed hitter leads off against righty Brady Singer. It's a sinker bounced softly to the right side second baseman Frazier charges scoops it up throws to first in time. A nice play by Adam Frazier. One out, nobody on on one pitch. Here's Brandon Laub. Had him reaching. And Michael Garcia brings it down for the out. And now the designated hitter, right-handed hitting, Isak Paredes comes to the plate. Paredes breaks his bat. So that's a quick first inning. So it's a 1-2-3 inning for Brady Singer. And like Aaron Savali, he does it on seven pitches. Well, if you blinked, you might have missed the entire first inning. Three up, three down for both sides on 14 total pitches, and so it's a scoreless game in the top of the second, and Stu Salvador Perez leads off against Aaron Savali. Sky toward right center. DeLuca making the call, and he is there to retire the dangerous Perez. And that'll be Nelson Velasquez, who has hits in eight of his last ten with a 294 average in that time, and he'll swing and hit it high in the air. Deep left center, that's way back, and that ball is going to be out of here. Nelson Velasquez goes deep. His fifth on the year, and the Royals take a 1 0 lead here in the second inning. And Savali with his 15th pitch on the day. First pitch to Velasquez. It winds up in the bleachers in left center field. Yeah, with one out, nobody on. And here's Adam Frazier. Frazier is out on strikes. Breaking ball takes care of him. One ball, two strikes on Melendez. He swings and misses at a ball in the dirt, strike three. Brady Singer gets to work with a narrow lead, but a lead nonetheless. He'll get the middle of the Tampa Bay batting order. They're just shot into right center field. That coming off an 0-2 pitch, and Aranda's on his way to extra bases with a stand-up double. There is to have three shots now with a man in scoring position. Back to Brady. Who looks to third and then throws high, but Vinny is there for the out. So Aranda at third, Caballero at first base, Ben Rortvet, who the Royals saw quite a bit of in Minnesota in his past, also former Yankee, now catching for these guys. Left handed hitter, 264. There he goes, and Rortvet swings and misses. So Caballero gets his 19th stolen base, but Brady will take the second out. Ahmed Rosario hits it right to Bobby Witt Jr., and that is the inning. Brady Singer gets out of a first and third jam, not allowing any runs. One on, one out, back to the top of the order, Michael Garcia. Chop toward third. Tough play for Rosario and no play. So Michael Garcia with an infield single has a 12 game hitting streak. It puts two men on, a man in scoring position, and will get Bobby Witt Jr. to the plate. Hit hard, and that's in the left center field. Renfro scores. Michael Garcia goes to third, and Bobby Witt Jr. gives the Royals a two nothing lead. Oh, a two strike hit batter loads the bases up with one out, and it's already two nothing Kansas City in the third. And they've got Salvador Perez coming up, the league's leading hitter. Ground ball, shortstop. One over to first two. Salvador Perez hits into a six four three double play. And the damage is limited. And so it's an extra base hit for Adam Frazier. MJ Melendez comes to the play with a runner in scoring position and one out. As Frazier dances off second, and now the pitch chopped on the ground towards second. Charging and fielding is Lau. He flips underhand to Aranda. Melendez retired, but up to third base goes Frazier, and that's the second out here in the fourth. 
Swing and a high fly ball to shallow center, breaking back and now in Siri. Out Lau, the second baseman, the call and the grab. And Savali works around a double by Frazier to put up a scoreless fourth. Bottom of the fourth, Jonathan Aranda has one of two Rays hits. Aranda doubled to start the second, and he was stranded at third base. Rays best chance so far against Brady Singer. And a high shot deep to right, and that baby's going to go. Home run, Jonathan Aranda connects with his first round tripper of the year, and the Rays are on the board. Boy, does Aranda get into it. High finish, he knew it. Everybody knew it. Rays trying to come up with some offense against this Kansas City staff, hoping that's a start. 2 1, Rays trail in the fifth. Aaron Savali out there. And, and Kyle Isbell will begin it against Savali. Strike three call, upper corner of the strike zone away. And this one hit on the ground, came back with the sweeper, and a nice pick over at first by Aranda. Bobby Witt Jr. Popper into shallow center. Siri coming on, and he's there to make the catch. Side retired. Witt is gone on one pitch, and Savali skates through the fifth, his best inning since the first. Two on and one out. Palacios to second, Lau to first. Raised down two to one in the fifth. Have a chance here with the guy that's been the best hitter, Isak Paredes. And a pickoff. They throw it into center field. Palacios will go to third, and following into second is Brandon Lau. And the Rays now will have two men in scoring position on the errant throw. Two again. Ground ball down to third, and it's bobbled down there. Garcia will still go to first. The Rays score the tying run. Palacios crossing the plate to make it 2 2. Rays going to the bullpen. Aaron Savali goes five. And it's Phil Maton who had a, quite a tough inning yesterday in the eighth on for the sixth today to try and keep this game even at two. Ground ball third. Rosario to allow one over to first. They're going to get them both as Maton throws the double play ball. And Maton has gotten a double play in each of his last two outings. And the Royals, like the Rays in the top of the inning, will go to their bullpen. Brady Singer done after five innings. Chris Stratton comes on in relief. And there's a breaking ball that's called strike three at the knees. A one, two, three inning for Chris Stratton. Here in the sixth, we go to the seventh. Under the big top here in St. Pete, it's a 2 2 game. Garrett Clevenger, who's having a very good year out of their pen, a 137 ERA, making his 22nd appearance, 29 strikeouts, 12 walks. So a single and back to back walks have him loaded with nobody down. And the batter due up is Kyle Isbell, and he will bat. Oh, and Isbell, what? Made contact with that ball, and it went off the side of his face. It was a fastball, and he must have thought it was a breaking ball. Thinking that it was going to be a breaking ball that started up and in, and he went after it, and it stayed straight. Dyron Blanco is going to pinch hit with an 0-1 count. Blanco hits it in the air to right field. Frazier tags. The throw comes to the plate, and then Hampson got a late break, and he's going to be out at third base. But Frazier does score on the sacrifice fly, and the Royals take a 3 to 2 lead. And Chris Stratton will be out there to begin this seventh inning, and he'll face right handed hitting Ahmed Rosario. Stratton makes the play of his life. And if you ask him how he did it, he will probably say, I don't know. And the Rays on a hit batter and a walk trying to take advantage of Kansas City's wildness. The tying and go ahead runs on base here on the seventh. Brandon Lau is lifted for the pinch hitter. It's going to be Harold Ramirez that's going to bat against Angel Serpa, the left hand reliever. Two on, one out for the Rays, trailing 3 2 to Kansas City in the home seventh. And the pitch is lined into right center field. That's in there for a base hit. Here comes Siri in to score. Palacios will go to third. First pitch. Ramirez off the bench ties this game. Keith Fairbanks, fifth pitcher of the day for the Rays. He's got the ninth inning. It's a 3 3 game. And now Garrett Hampson comes to the plate. That is fair. And Hampson gets it down into the left field corner. And the go ahead run is at second base with two down. He's under this one and skies it into left center. Ramirez coming in, lost it, and there is Siri. Siri ran behind him and made the play. It was like a comedy act out there in left field. Ramirez lost it, and Siri running over from center caught the ball 15 feet behind Harold Ramirez. And then Siri comes running into the dugout, 
with a giant smile on his face. And it's up to James MacArthur to send this game to extras. He takes the mound, facing 9-1-2 and two in the Rays lineup. That's a fastball chopped out to Junior. And that is the inning. A 1-2-3 bottom of the ninth for James MacArthur. And we're going to extra innings at Tropicana Field. What a spot for the 28-year-old left-hander Richard Lovelady. And he comes on with the bases loaded and only one out in the 10th inning of a 3-3 tie to face his former teammate Vinny Pasquantino with the bases loaded. And Vinny hits a fly ball shallow left. Renfro tags. Ramirez makes the catch. Here's Ramirez throw. Renfro is in there. And the Royals take a 4-3 to three lead here in the top of the 10th inning. So the Rays are down to their final out, trailing 4-3 in the 10th inning, and it's up to Johnny DeLuca. Johnny DeLuca looking for his first hit of the day. This would be a good time for it. And the line drive base hit. That's going to tie the game. DeLuca's going to hit for second, and he is in there with a double. It's a two-strike, two-out double by Johnny DeLuca. We're not in at four. We go to the 11th inning. Royals and Rays now tied at four. And Velasquez drives it into deep left center field. It is off the wall. Nelson Velasquez puts the Royals right back in front. A go-ahead RBI double. It is five to four in the top of the 11th. Brown ball, and that's through. Velasquez is going to be sent home. The Royals have another it's six to four in the top of the 11th inning. And now here is Garcia. We're still two on and two men out. And now Garcia lines it into left field. There's your third run. Here comes Frazier, who has already driven in a run. Michael Garcia gives the Royals a little more breathing room. An RBI single, and it's now seven to four Royals in the top of the 11th. Right-hander Nick Anderson is into the game to try and get the final three outs. And the Rays are down to their final out. And Richie Palacios is coming up. And he lifts it to center field. Hampson is there, and the Royals, for the first time in seven years, have won eight in a row. 